Oh look, another film shot with unnecessary slow camera movement to imply a handheld camera effect and a lot of close-up shots of people's faces with narrow depth of field. Something we never see in Irish cinema these days, or really any cinema these days. In case you're not catching it, I'm being sarcastic. Writer and director Morgan Bush brings us a story of two down-on-their-luck people who form a bond in a half-conceived plan to rob a small-town amusement arcade. This is Morgan Bush's first feature film, so I will cut him some slack as he is clearly trying to make a quality movie. Unfortunately, however, by trying too hard, the film doesn't offer the audience anything unique. Bush basically takes cues from almost every Irish film to come out over the past few years and puts that in his film. A 15-year-old boy, Joey Moody, played by Lewis McDougall, runs away from his aunt and uncle to an abandoned caravan park his father owned to reopen it. Because, you know, apparently in rural Ireland, 15-year-old kids can do that. Joey is a good kid who makes some bad life decisions that get him into trouble just like last year's film, Michael Inside. Ronald, played by Pat Short, is a broken-down old Irishman with an alcohol problem, just like, well, any number of other films that have a broken-down old drunken Irishman. I'm also going to call out director of photography Arthur Mulhern as well in this review, as he has also apparently attended the Copy Everyone Else School of Cinematography in the same way Bush attended the School of Copy Other Directors. I don't know, maybe that's how they met. They went to the same school of copy everybody else. Or, you know, one of those educational systems where all the students that come out do everything exactly like they're told. Anyway, back to this. The film has that same slow camera movement that is used constantly in every film nowadays. He also does extreme close-ups on each character focusing on eyes or their hands or some object that has been done to death in movies. Like, Seriously, do we need all these extreme close-ups? It's lost its impact, people. I know I'm ripping on this film for being a cut-and-paste job, and I know how difficult it can be to make a feature film. To Bush's credit, there are some things to like about this film. The performance of Lewis McDougall as the troubled boy, for example. He doesn't play it over the top like many of the older characters and does an excellent job of carrying the film for everyone else. As a first feature film, Morgan Bush does a good job. But being just good... Like, everyone else is just good, isn't that impressive? If he wants to make a name for himself, he will need to find a style and look of his own that just isn't a copy of everything else. For you, the audience, if you want to see a movie about a troubled kid, go see the previously mentioned Michael Inside. If you want to see something with an old bearded Irishman who teams up with some kid on an adventure, check out Bad Day for the Cut. Belly of the Whale, if you do want to see it, you can. It opens in Ireland December 7th and in the United States November 9th.